Guten Tag, mein Name ist Johannes Kühn und ich möchte Good afternoon. My name is Johannes Kühn and today I would like to reveal a few technical details about Lenzer Autotuning. Von Lenzer ist eine Funktion. Lenzer's Autotuner is an adjustment function integrated in the i950 and i700 controllers. Die Regelung einstellt Why do servo controllers need to be adjusted? Servo controllers are position controlled inverters and must always be adjusted to the respective machine. No one has yet found a method to adjust controllers without adaptation so that they provide maximum performance. If I want to move items highly dynamically, then I have to adjust the controller. That's exactly what we use the auto tuner for. I would like to briefly explain how this works how it differs from conventional methods and what benefits you will gain from it. I have chosen the stacker crane as an example for this. A stacker crane is an elevator that moves back and forth in a high bay warehouse. I'll sketch it out here so you can see what I'm talking about. First of all, the stacker crane consists of a high mast. It's usually pretty straight. At the top and at the bottom of the mast are two gear wheels. I draw them here in green. The mast is mounted on a vehicle. This vehicle can move back and forth in the alley, but we are now interested in the elevator, in other words, the up and down movement of the device. There is a toothed belt for this, here also in green. The load handling device is attached to the elevator, here in blue. The load handling device is, so to speak, the fork that grabs the items from the rack. So, I just mark the gears with a Z. The lower gear is driven by a motor. It rides on the vehicle. Here, a nice square motor with a gear on it, which imprints the torque at this point to move the toothed belt, and thus the device up and down. So, the load handling device can move in these directions. If I want to work on the technology of such a machine, then I must first model it. First, I must have understood it and form a model. The simplest possible model for this is the rigid body model. I assume that the toothed belt, the gearbox and the motor are so firmly connected to the load handling device that they cannot move against each other or vibrate. I'm drawing this here. This is supposed to be the engine, and at the end of the engine is just a disc on it, a flywheel. So that's how it's looking at it. This mass represents the load from the load handling device, gears, gearbox, timing belt and motor. According to such a simple model with only one mass, thus only one inertia, if it is moved, I can then design a machine, if it is very stiff. That is, a machine tool or a machine with a natural frequency above 150 Hertz, I would call a stiff machine. Good control parameters can be found with such a simple model. But our stacker crane here has a 20 meter long toothed belt, a gearbox, it may even have loose parts. And is not a particularly stiff machine with a natural frequency of 150 Hertz. A stacker crane like this has a frequency of maybe 3 to 4 Hertz. When I jump on it here, it vibrates at 3 to 4 Hertz. This model, which only has one mass inertia, is rather unsuitable. Here we need a model that has a spring. I now draw the spring, like the toothed belt, as elastic. So. 
So, these are now two masses here, with small wheels at the bottom so that the whole thing can be moved back and forth, and the spring symbolizes the toothed belt. From the point of view of control engineering, such a two-mass oscillator has the same technical properties as this complicated machine. It's easy to summarize. Here, the masses can be determined. This mass would correspond to the parts before the timing belt. In other words, engine, gearbox, gear wheel, and the other mass to the part after the timing belt. In other words, the load handling device. Now, I would have to convert this with gear factors to be able to determine these values. Unfortunately, dear mechanical engineers, you do not always give your commissioning engineers the entire model. They often sit at the machine, but do not have all this data to hand. It also happens that a toothed belt in the upper position has a different spring module and a different spring stiffness than at a lower element, because then only a short piece of toothed belt is effective while here at the top, these two long stretches are effective. Models are therefore always limited and correspond only imperfectly to reality. If I design the controller optimally according to the model, this does not mean that this machine is also optimally controlled in reality. If you want to control the machine optimally, then either a much more complicated model with even more effort is necessary or I use the Lenzer auto-tuning. Our auto-tuner has the advantage that it is not model-based. The effort to identify the model and the disadvantages and problems that follow from the difference between model and reality are eliminated. Lenzer auto-tuning is definitely much more robust and decidedly practical at this point. So, how does Lenzer auto-tuning work? In the example of the stacker crane, the Lenzer auto-tuning works in such a way that I let the load handling device move up and down, and with each movement I set the control parameter to be adjusted slightly higher. When I then reach the stability limit, I hear this grrrt noise, and our controller can tell from the current and other sensor signals that the instability has been reached. It remembers the value and adjusts the controller so that it always remains below this controller limit. Lenser auto-tuning does all this fully automatically, and in exactly the same way as an engineer would do when commissioning such a system. This is very practical and very robust. If the toothed belt is loose, then the auto-tuning notices that because it is used for the adjustment, while I would possibly not notice that after such a model. Lenser auto-tuning is therefore reproducible and comes up with the same values over and over again. It is easy to operate. The drive expert is in the software. You no longer need to invite other experts, and the software does not require a hotel room. The expert is installed in the control cabinet with the software. Lenser auto-tuning is available to you at any time. It is included in the i700 and i950 inverters, and is available to you already today. From my point of view, it doesn't get any better than this. I hope I have convinced you too, and would be delighted if you were to try out Lenser auto-tuning in the near future, and report back to me on your experiences with it. Otherwise, I look forward to your questions and feedback. I hope to see you at a show. Thank you very much.